I'm down in Albany again. I was here just uh, just a couple of months ago, and um, yeah, here I am again. So I've come out early again. I've come down to one of the beaches here. Uh, the beaches around Albany are just, well, in my humble opinion, they're some of the best in the world. Not that I've seen a whole lot of the world, but uh, yeah, they're really, really awesome down here. So I've got up and I've got out nice and early again. Uh, the time now is about 10 to 5, I think, and the sun is due to rise right on, right on 5 o'clock. So um, I haven't been to this beach in a few years and I haven't taken photos here before, but yeah, look, it should be a good spot. I'm going to have a little scope around quickly um, in the next few minutes and find a good spot to set up and then we'll get shooting. There's this nice big crop of rocks just up where I am now, um, probably 10 metres or so back from the, from the edge of the water. But I might just head down this way a little bit. Um, and I wouldn't mind just getting down to some of these rocks that are sort of in, in the water a little bit um, and, and try and get sort of an interesting shot with the water, water coming up around the rocks there. This place is called Misery Beach, and as you can see, it's just awful here, as the name would suggest. Um, just at the far end of the beach, there's this huge cliff. No, not really a cliff, more of this uh, quite steep, rocky hill. And what I'm planning on doing is, is trying to get my shot with that in the background. Uh, the clouds, the colours have just started to to sort of light up, or well, the clouds have just started to light up a little bit with the sunrise, so I'm just going to uh, see if I can concentrate for a second and, uh, and see if I can get set up for a shot. Little trick I picked up along the way, CDs under your tripod legs. And they, uh, they really stop, stop your tripod stinking, uh, sinking into the sand. Um, it's not apparently obvious until you start taking some longer exposures. And actually last time I was down in Albany just a couple of months ago, when I, was, uh, when I got home and I was editing my footage, putting it all together, um, I could actually see as I sort of played it in fast forward, I could see my tripod really, really, really slowly just sinking down. Oh, there's a wave. No, we're good. Um, just really slowly sinking down into the sand. And uh, yeah, you can't sort of, you don't really notice it with the naked eye until you sort of watch it back and fast forward. Not my idea, but it's a good idea. Now, what would be great is if I can get a bit of a wave coming up and uh, just sort of surrounding this rock a little bit, catch a bit of water in the movement, but also wash away my damn footprints that I've been putting all over the sand here. Still waiting for this wave to come up, but I'm beginning to think it's just not going to happen. Oh, here we go. No, we don't. So the dilemma is, do I wait around here for a little bit longer and wait for this wave to come up to wash my footprints away so I can get a better shot? Um, or do I move on and try and find a different composition somewhere? A bunch of my footprints in the middle of, of my photo is pretty much going to ruin it. And this wave may never come. Although, hang on. Woo! Okay, well, that got half of them, so uh, it's better than nothing. Okay, I'm still working on the same rock. I've just shifted round just a little bit, cutting out my footprints, which I think is a good thing. Um, but yeah, and no, I just look like a slightly different composition, which is sort of nice. And the water's starting to come up a bit more now. 
this is a great little spot down here. When my alarm went off at quarter to four this morning, I seriously considered not getting out of bed. Um, and of course, that's always the case with me. But, you know, now that I'm out here, like, you can't really get much better than this, to be honest. I was just shooting some longer exposures there with the, what was it, six stop ND filter. Um, I've just taken it off and yeah, again, I'm just going to try and try and get a couple of shots as this water, Jesus, and this water is really coming up a lot more. Might have to uh, back off a little soon. Uh, but yeah, just get a couple of shots again with this water rushing past these rocks. I think I got the shot that I want, but I'm just going to hang around for a little bit longer to see if I can better it. Uh, trick with this, well it's not a trick, you just just keep shooting. Every wave that comes up it's going to leave us a, uh, a different pattern of water on the sand, so you just keep firing away. So the sun, well the sun's up, um, but it is just about to sort of peek over the top of this hill here. I'm out of here. Oh, don't want to forget my shoes. All right, I'm done. I'm out of here. That was, uh, is that a snake up there? Oh, it is. All right, I'm done. I'm out of here. That was, uh, well, that was awesome, to be honest. Uh, hopefully the photos will turn out okay. There'll be something decent in there. I think there will be. Um, but regardless, you know, I will never, ever get enough of, of coming down to these beaches here. So hit the like button if you feel so inclined. Uh, subscribe to my channel. You can hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought. And I'm going to take off, but I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.